Taylor Swift had always been a woman of grace, strength, and an unwavering belief in love. She'd poured her heart into her music, each song telling a story of love lost, love found, and love cherished. So, when she met Travis Kelsey, the charismatic NFL star with a heart as big as his stature, it felt like the beginning of a new song, a ballad that was destined for a happy ending. Their relationship had blossomed quickly. From late-night phone calls to surprise visits during tours and games, their bond grew stronger with each passing day. Travis wasn't just her boyfriend, he was her best friend, her confidant, and the person who made her laugh even when the world felt heavy on her shoulders. But as their love story unfolded, so did the pressures of their public lives. Paparazzi hounded them, fans speculated about every little detail, and the world seemed to be watching their every move. Taylor, ever the romantic, had started to imagine a future with Travis, a future that involved more than just dates and sweet texts. She began to dream of a life where they would wake up to each other every morning, share breakfast while planning their day, and maybe, just maybe, start a family together. One evening, after Taylor had returned home from a particularly exhausting tour, Travis invited her over to his place for dinner. She was thrilled. They hadn't had much alone time lately, and she was eager to see him. As she arrived, the warm glow of candles and the aroma of home-cooked food greeted her. Travis had gone all out, everything from her favorite dish to the playlist that softly played in the background was perfect. As they sat down to eat, Taylor noticed that Travis seemed unusually quiet, a pensive look on his face. She reached across the table, taking his hand in hers. Travis, what's on your mind? He sighed, looking down at their intertwined fingers. Taylor, I've been thinking a lot about us lately, about where we're headed. Her heart skipped a beat. Was this the moment she had been waiting for? The moment where he would finally ask her to spend the rest of their lives together? But Travis's next words shattered her hopes like a fragile glass. I love you, Taylor, more than anything. But before we take the next step, I need you to prove to me that we're truly meant to be together. Taylor's eyes widened in shock. What do you mean? Haven't we already shown that by being there for each other through everything? Travis hesitated, his gaze filled with an uncertainty she had never seen before. I need you to commit to moving in with me, to adjusting your life around mine, just for a while. I want to see if you can handle my world before we talk about engagement. The words cut through Taylor like a knife. It wasn't just the demand, it was the implication behind it. Travis wanted her to uproot her life, to make compromises she had never anticipated, all for the sake of proving their love. It felt like he was questioning the very foundation of their relationship. Tears welled up in Taylor's eyes as she realized the gravity of what he was asking. This wasn't just about moving in together, it was about sacrificing a part of herself, of her independence, to fit into his world. She had always believed that love was about compromise, but this felt different. It felt like an ultimatum. I don't understand, Travis, she whispered, her voice trembling. I thought we were already proving our love to each other every day. Why do I need to give up more just to make you feel secure? Travis looked torn, his face etched with conflict. I'm not trying to hurt you, Taylor. I just. I've seen too many relationships fall apart because people didn't truly know what they were getting into. I want to be sure. Taylor's tears flowed freely now, her heart breaking with every word. She had always been confident in their love, but now doubt crept in like a dark cloud. Did he really love her, or was he more concerned with protecting himself from potential heartbreak? Unable to hold back her emotions, Taylor stood up from the table, her voice cracking. I thought we were building something real, Travis. But it feels like you're testing me, like you don't trust me, or us. Travis tried to reach out to her, but she stepped back, shaking her head. I need some time to think, she said softly before turning and walking out the door, her heart heavy with sorrow. As she drove home, tears blurring her vision, Taylor couldn't shake the overwhelming sadness that consumed her. She had always believed that love was about mutual trust and understanding, but now she was faced with a choice she never expected. Would she give up a part of herself to prove her love, or would she hold on to her own identity, even if it meant losing the man she thought she would spend her life with? Back at her apartment, Taylor collapsed onto her bed, crying bitterly into her pillow. 
The weight of Travis's demand pressed down on her, making her question everything she thought she knew about love. And as the night wore on, she realized that the answer wasn't simple. Love was supposed to be a partnership, not a test, and she wasn't sure if she could live with someone who couldn't see that. In the morning, with swollen eyes and a heart still aching, Taylor knew she had a decision to make. But for now, all she could do was cry for the love that felt like it was slipping through her fingers, and the future she wasn't sure she could have. Title, Love in the Limelight, Taylor Swift sat at the grand piano in her Nashville home, her fingers lightly grazing the ivory keys. The melody she played was haunting, a reflection of the turmoil brewing in her heart. Just hours earlier, she had been on top of the world, basking in the glow of her relationship with Travis Kelsey. The two had been inseparable since they met, their connection deep and undeniable. But now, her world was crashing down. Travis had always been the strong, confident figure she could lean on. His presence in her life was like a steady drumbeat, grounding her amidst the chaos of fame. They had spent countless nights talking about their dreams, their fears, and the future they hoped to build together. Taylor had begun to imagine a life with him, a life filled with love, laughter, and maybe even a family. But that dream was shattered earlier that evening when Travis made a shocking demand. I love you, Taylor. I truly do, Travis had said, his voice heavy with emotion as they sat together on her balcony, the city lights twinkling in the distance. But if we're going to take this to the next level, I need something from you. Taylor's heart had skipped a beat, her mind racing ahead to thoughts of engagement rings and wedding bells. But what came next felt like a punch to the gut. I need you to step away from the spotlight. At least for a while, Travis continued, his eyes locking onto hers. I want us to have a normal life, to build a relationship that's not constantly under the microscope. I want us to be able to walk down the street without cameras flashing in our faces, to have a family without worrying about the next headline or paparazzi shot. Taylor had stared at him in disbelief, her mind reeling. Step away from the spotlight? For Taylor, music wasn't just a career, it was her passion, her identity. The idea of walking away, even temporarily, felt like losing a part of herself. Travis, she had whispered, her voice trembling, you know how much my music means to me. It's who I am. Asking me to give that up. I don't know if I can. Travis had sighed, running a hand through his hair, his frustration palpable. I'm not asking you to give it up forever, Tay. Just, for a while. I want us to have a shot at something real, something that isn't tainted by fame. I want you, not Taylor Swift the superstar, but Taylor, the woman I love. The words had cut deep, and Taylor felt tears welling up in her eyes. She had tried to hold them back, to stay strong, but the weight of his demand was too much. The tears had come, bitter and unstoppable, as she realized the impossible choice he was asking her to make. Now, as she sat at the piano, those tears flowed freely. The melody she played was mournful, echoing the pain in her heart. She loved Travis with everything she had, but the thought of giving up her music, even for a short time, was unbearable. She closed her eyes, letting the music speak the words she couldn't find. In that moment, she was torn between two worlds, one where she was Taylor Swift, the global sensation who had touched millions with her songs, and another where she was simply Taylor, a woman in love, yearning for a future with the man who held her heart. But could she have both? Or was this the end of the love story she had so desperately wanted to write? As the final notes of the song faded into the night, Taylor wiped her tears and made a silent vow to herself. She would find a way to balance the two worlds, to keep both her music and her love alive. But deep down, she knew the road ahead would be anything but easy. For now, though, all she could do was cry and hope that somehow, they would find a way to make it work. Title: The Echo of Silence, Taylor Swift sat in the corner of her spacious living room, her heart pounding in her chest as the echoes of Travis Kelsey's words reverberated through her mind. The glittering cityscape of Nashville outside her window was a stark contrast to the storm raging inside her. The city she had come to love, where she had built a life and a career, now felt like a distant, lonely island. Just hours earlier, Taylor and Travis had been laughing over a cozy dinner at her favorite restaurant. It was one of those perfect nights that seemed to crystallize their relationship, a harmony of shared jokes, stolen glances, 
and an unspoken understanding that made her feel like she had found someone who truly got her. But as the night wore on, Travis's mood shifted, and the light-hearted banter was replaced with a tension that Taylor couldn't quite place. Back at her place, the two of them sat on the couch, the remnants of the evening swirling around them. Travis cleared his throat, and Taylor knew something was coming. She could feel it in the way he gripped her hand a little too tightly, the way his eyes darkened with something heavy, something unsaid. Taylor, he began, his voice low and serious, we need to talk. The words sent a chill down her spine. She had heard those words before, in countless songs and heartbreaking conversations. But this was Travis, her rock, her anchor. Whatever it was, they could work through it. They had to. What's on your mind? She asked, trying to keep her tone light, though the nervous flutter in her stomach betrayed her. Travis hesitated, his jaw clenching as if he were trying to find the right words. I've been thinking a lot about our future, Tay, he finally said. I know how important your career is to you, and I respect that more than anything. But I need to know, are you ready to settle down? I mean really settle down? I want us to start thinking about engagement, marriage, a family. Taylor's heart skipped a beat. It wasn't that she hadn't thought about a future with Travis, she had, countless times. But the way he was asking, the gravity in his voice, made her realize that this was more than just a casual conversation. He was asking her to choose. Travis, I love you, she began, her voice trembling. But my career, it's not just a job. It's a part of me. It's my identity, my passion. I'm not sure I'm ready to step away from that, not yet." Travis's expression hardened, and he pulled his hand away from hers. I'm not asking you to give it all up, he said, a sharp edge to his voice. But I need to know that you're willing to make us a priority. I can't be with someone who's always one foot out the door, always thinking about the next album or tour. Taylor felt the sting of his words deep in her chest. She had never seen this side of Travis before the side that demanded something she wasn't sure she could give. So, what are you saying, she asked, her voice barely a whisper. I'm saying that if we're going to make this work, I need to know that you're committed to us. That you're ready to take the next step. If you're not, then maybe we're not as right for each other as we thought. The silence that followed was deafening. Taylor stared at Travis, her mind reeling. How had they gone from a perfect evening to this ultimatum? The man she loved, the man who had made her believe in love again, was now asking her to choose between him and the life she had built. Tears welled up in her eyes, and before she could stop them, they began to spill down her cheeks. She tried to speak, to say something that would make it all okay, but the words wouldn't come. All she could do was cry, cry for the love she thought they had, for the future she wasn't sure she could give him, for the dream that was slipping through her fingers. Travis watched her, his face a mixture of sadness and resolve. I never wanted to hurt you, Taylor, he said softly. But I can't pretend that this isn't important to me. I need to know that we're on the same page. Taylor nodded, choking on her sobs. I... I need time, she managed to say, her voice breaking. I don't know if I can give you what you want right now. 